Endymion by John Keats A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. But still will keep a bower quiet for us, and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Therefore, on every morrow, we are wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth. Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and o'er darkened ways made for our searching. Yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits. Such the sun, the moon, trees old and young, sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep, and such are daffodils with the green world they live in and clear rills that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season. The mid-forest break, rich with the sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms. And such too is the grandeur of the dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead. All lovely tales that we have heard or read, an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring into us from the heaven's brink. Nor do we merely feel these essences for one short hour. No, even as the trees that whisper round a temple become soon dear as the temple's self, so does the moon, the passion, poesy, glories infinite, haunt us till they become a cheering light unto our souls. And bound to us so fast, that whether there be shine or gloom or cast, they always must be with us, or we die.